So, hello everyone, we are in dance following uh, the conference and now we are here with uh, Johanna Bucher and uh, she took part at the youth camp of the Baltic Sea and uh, I would like you to tell more about this experience. So in the youth camp that was organized by the BSSSC, there were around 100 participants from all over the region coming together to actually connect and to discuss topics that uh, move the young generations. And we have some concrete ideas and we will also publish a declaration that will then be put together with all the other declarations so that we have one joint declaration for the whole youth of the whole Baltic Sea region. And maybe I can tell you about some of the concrete ideas we have. Sure. So we talked about sustainability and uh, about the sustainability goals. So one idea was to focus on education. Therefore, we envisioned one project for the very young. It would be a, a children's book that would be created by different artists from all over the region. And they would um, explain the sustainable development goals and climate action, oceans and seas, but in a very child-friendly way, with nice um, pictures. And therefore, we would like to bring together artists from more over, like, all over the 11 countries to work on this book. And there's one Facebook page that's actually called um, the Baltic Sea belongs to kids, that you are very welcome to follow. And the other idea was to create a university on a ship crossing the Baltic Sea. So we would like to bring people together to, inter to interact, to learn, but in a research-oriented way. And to focus on the topics of SDG 13 and 14, but uh, interdisciplinary and interculturally, so that they can discuss on a fact-based, yeah, on that they can discuss fact-based and that um, then whenever the ship, for example, docks in different cities, they can actually bring back all, all the things they learned and the results of their research into the societies. And they can also include the remarks and concerns that people all over the region have and combine them and reflect them in their research. So that's one of the ideas. And explain us more about this project. Students will live uh, one year in the ship and take lessons inside the ship or when landed in a certain place? So, for now, they, the idea came up last November on the Baltic Youth Dialogue, where around 20 like, young students participated. And now we took it a bit, a bit further also based on youth participation. And the idea is that would be like one semester, for example, the summer semester, on the sea, actually on the ship. And we would bring different professors who are leading the discussions to actually teach these students that come from different fields. So they would work on it interdisciplinary and first learn about it, and then actually initiate research, so that young people can bring up their topics, they can actually focus on what they are interested in, and then they can research, and at the end, try to find solutions. So, once they worked in focus groups, for example, the lawyers work together, and the biologists work together, and maybe the political science students work together on the fields they actually studied before, and afterwards they come back together and discuss the issues they saw, the research they did, in different mixed groups so that they can find different solutions and then discuss these solutions together to come up with some kind of recommendations also for politicians that they could implement and that they could base on. So, yeah, we would like to, to bring up this uh, idea that the youth can actually bring up their topics and discuss it and then again bring it back to the societies within the, the harbors where they dock. So that's the idea. And last question, like, uh, there's many students listening to us, so how could they subscribe if they're interested? So, for now, we're looking for funding. Um, so we have together a lot of stakeholders to actually make this project happen. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think they could address um, either me, or also I think they could write an email to the BCCC if they're interested, but it will take a little time to actually put this project into action. So we are looking for funding, if you have any idea, if you know anyone who is likely to support this idea, maybe also in the European sense, like this could be one flagship project for, for example, European universities to take this further. Maybe in the Mediterranean Sea you would have like, also an interest in a similar approach, crossing the Mediterranean Sea and then based it on the experiences we could gather in our flagship project that we can actually put into action and then, yeah, everyone is very welcome to join. It's, it should be free for everyone, so we are looking for funding so that it's tuition free and that everyone can apply. So, for example, include it in the Erasmus network so that you can do, for example, your Erasmus on the Baltic Sea, which is a very 
very beautiful region and uh, definitely worth studying there. Okay, so we hope someone has uh, a nice idea about uh, funding this yes. project. I thank you very much for today's interview. Thank you very much.